Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how humans reduce the amount of land available for animals and plants. You should then be able to describe how the destruction of peat bogs reduces biodiversity and releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. As we've already seen, human activity is reducing biodiversity, and part of this is due to our need for land. Humans use land for buildings, for example houses, factories, shops and airports. Humans also use land for farms and for quarries, as well as for dumping waste, for example in landfills. All of this means that there is less land available for animals and plants, and due to the reduction in habitats this reduces biodiversity. Now there's one area where this is a particular problem and that is with peat. Peat bogs and peat lands contain large amounts of dead plant materials. Conditions in the peat mean that decay is very slow. So peat bogs and peat lands contain a very large amount of trapped carbon. However, these habitats are being destroyed. Peat's used to produce cheap compost for gardens and farms, and in some countries peat is burned to release energy, for example to generate electricity. The destruction of peat bogs and peat lands is reducing the area of this habitat. That's reducing the variety of animals, plants and microorganisms that live there. So as you can see, this is reducing biodiversity. Now there's also one other big problem with peat. Once peat has been extracted and used for compost, it begins to decay. This releases large amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. As we saw before, a lot of peat is burned, and again, this releases carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide released contributes to climate change. Now, many gardeners have stopped buying compost made with peat. However, the alternatives are more expensive, and if farmers had to use peat-free compost, then that could increase the price of food. So as you can see, there's no simple answer. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on land use in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.